Gymshark sponsorship, here I come. Yeah. One thing that I've seen in the fitness industry increasing at an exponential rate that has got to go is the concept of an alpha male. There are two types of men. There are alphas and there are betas. Alphas are strong, betas are weak. It needs to go. The concept of an alpha male doesn't mean anything in the modern world. An alpha wolf makes sense. You have a pack of wolves, some males, some females, some baby wolves, calves, no, cubs. There we go. No, idiot. They're called pups. Everyone knows that. And you have one alpha male that leads the pack and it leads from the back. That's just where it goes in the pack when it's traveling. However, in the modern human world, you don't have a pack. You don't have a pack of humans that you just rampage around cities with and that is your clan. You have removed weak blood from us and made us stronger. We can combine our strength and feast on the weak together. What, what, what in the hell are you saying? They don't have to keep trying to kill us if we join them. They're basically pussies. What is your deal lately? Right. No, okay? Maybe a thousand fucking years ago, but not anymore. So the concept doesn't make any sense. What do you walk into a room and you're like, Shit, man, who's the alpha male in this room? Is it me? Is it this guy? He looks pretty big. Get out the measuring tape. I wonder who it is. Look. It's not that big. It's not this. No, 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 the bush. No, okay? The concept of an alpha male just doesn't really mean that much in the modern world. And it's gotta go. Because honestly, it's mostly used for clickbait and marketing. And people want to know, like, oh, oh shit, am I an alpha male? What are the signs? of an alpha male, like do they have a deep voice and, and big muscles and they, they walk around pushing other people out of, the, out of the way. That's a good way to end up in prison, okay? There's a lot of alpha males in prison. You wanna be in prison? Be an alpha male, be a dick, be an asshole, just go out and you know, assert your dominance every five fucking minutes. Hey, what's up, Al-Qaeda? Nah, I'm totally kidding, I'm diffusing the tension with humor. What tension? This tension? No, of course not. Seriously, no beheadings though, right? Russ Hanneman, how you doing, motherfucker? <laughs> and actually, most people that pretend to be alpha males are pretty fucking insecure, okay? Just calling it like I see it, most people who have to assert their authority and are really aggressive and try to be dominant and have these little displays of dominance like, oh, I'm gonna fucking take his plate and use it and see what happens. No, that's called being an asshole. And they've made the concept so goddamn complicated. Like, there's an alpha, there's a beta. While most women are after alpha males, many beta and omega males are also guilty of being attracted to beautiful alpha females that radiate youth, sexuality, health, and fitness. But most beta and omega men have no idea about the dangers inherent in such women. And if you get called a beta, it's like the worst goddamn insult online. It's like, you're a, you're a beta. You're a fucking beta. Well, guess what? A wolf pack might have 30 wolves, maybe 15 males, uh, and there's one alpha. So if you call a wolf a beta, they'd be like, that's okay, like, shit, most of us are betas. Woof, woof, hey, I'm a beta, that's cool. Then you have like kappa males, and omega males, and theta males, and gamma males, and I guess that's like a wolf that's part Hulk. I read all about your accident. That much gamma exposure should have killed you. So you're saying that the Hulk, the other guy, saved my life? But the radiation's mostly gamma. It's like, uh, I was made for this. Because gamma rays, gamma, you're gonna have like zeta males, and they're gonna go through the entire goddamn Greek alphabet. You're obviously into Greek. <gasps> Get it? Just trying to confuse people into buying products and clicking on videos before people wisen up to this shit. And I'm happy to let this process go a little bit quicker. Anyway, what is the hierarchy? Okay, in a wolf pack, okay, the biggest and the strongest wolf is the alpha male, and they fight occasionally, and then, oh wow, there's a new, there's a new alpha. You can't do that if you're a human being, okay? Again, you end up in fucking prison. Okay, so you can't just fight random people on the street trying to out-alpha them. The hierarchy 
doesn't really have all that much to do with physical size. So what is it, money? What is it, who can paint a better picture of a landscape? What is it, uh, who has the bigger uh, biceps? You know, what is it? What is it that makes an alpha male an alpha male? Is it just not giving a fuck? What is it, okay? What determines who's the alpha, who's the beta, who's the kappa? Bust a cap in his ass. Who's the blah, 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 more Greek letters. Who knows? I guarantee if you watch too much of this bullshit, clickbait, arbitrary pseudoscience bullshit, you're going to get anxiety. Because anytime you walk into a room or you meet a stranger, you're going to be like trying to position yourself into being an alpha male. I've never, ever met someone and been like, oh, shit, I've got to be the alpha now. No, okay? Just be yourself. If you have some alpha tendencies, fine, okay? Just tone it down a little bit so you don't do anything dumb. If you don't have these alpha tendencies and you want to become more of an alpha male, sure, okay? Work on yourself, you know, build some muscle, get some confidence. But people can smell fake alphas a mile away, okay? You're just going to be an asshole, a douchebag, a faker, and just be yourself, okay? Don't worry about where you end up on some arbitrary, meaningless, undefined ladder every time you meet someone new or walk into a room or go to a party, okay? Just relax, chill out, and uh, try to live a little without worrying about this kind of bullshit. Just for fun, I searched on YouTube, alpha male. Just two words, and uh, I'm gonna read off some titles because they're a little bit cringy. Seven things alpha males do that beta males don't. Ooh, you can see how it's click-worthy, right? You're like, oh shit, well, where am I? Where am I on the scale? The scale doesn't fucking exist, okay? It's a made-up scale. Alphas think about the greater good. It's not just about them and how things affect them. They're there to be a benefit to other people. A few moments later. The good news is that Audible is today's video sponsor. And you're saving like 66% that link down below. The thing that alphas do, hit that link down below. Be more alpha. Seriously, hit that link or I'll eat your babies, bitch. Five alpha male habits that will change you forever. Again, you want to click. 15 signs you're an alpha male. How to be an alpha male with uh, Jordan Peterson. And I'm actually a Jordan Peterson fan, but he's definitely into this hierarchy kind of thing. 10 signs you're an alpha male. How to become a sigma male. The rarest male type. Again, types in general are bullshit. So body types, psychology types, alpha male types. I'm an ectomorph, sigma, INTPJ, Aries, Kappa, Jedi, Gamma, Theta, Dragon, who self-identifies as pretentious and has pronouns of blitz and chits. Well, get on over to blitz and chits! Alpha male compilation, five signs you're not an alpha male. Hidden signs, a girl views you as an alpha. A girl likes you or doesn't like you, okay? It's not like she's uh, thinking you're alpha, she's just trying to measure you up against other guys. That doesn't mean you're an alpha, okay? Because there's no actual pack. 10 signs you're an alpha and don't even know it, okay? Do you think a wolf in a wolf pack is like, oh shit bro, I'm the alpha? I've been the alpha all along? Damn, <laughs> how did this happen? Uh, I'm so happy, I'm the alpha. No, okay, all of this shit is just bullshit. It's just pure clickbait bullshit. It has no actual uh, application, no relevance. If anything, the application is just gonna be have you be more of an asshole most of the time. Most of these videos are like, yeah, you gotta fucking assert yourself, walk into the club, and then, you know, grab a guy by the balls and squeeze just to show him you're not afraid of expressing yourself in that way. How to stop being a nice guy, unleashing the alpha. What kind of shit is this? Who, who watches this? This is five million views. Is it you? Is it you? Have you been watching this bullshit? Because, uh, please stop, all right? Stop, really. Putin's Extraordinary Alpha Male Walk, which has 15 goddamn million views, which is uh, pretty insane. I guess I'll put a, a video of it on the screen. I haven't watched it yet, but I assume it's good. I mean, it's Putin. He rides bears, and uh, if anyone's an alpha male... Okay, fine. Putin is the only alpha male of the human species. End of video. <laughs> like a normal walk to me.
please don't assassinate me. That would be really awkward and probably unpleasant too. That being said, I think this clip by Jordan Peterson encapsulates my thoughts pretty well. A handful of hyper-competitive men who are obsessed with hitting the pinnacle of the given dominance hierarchy they're in will happily work 80 hours a week and they'll forego everything else. But they're damn good at what they do and part of that is, is they're smart and disciplined and they'll work non-stop all the time. It's like an obsession and that's the sort of people who run things. Those are the people who run things. Find your passion, attack it. It's just that simple. Don't worry about where you are in some hierarchy or you know, if you are the coolest guy in the room, just you do you, find what you want to do in life, and then get it done. All right, that is all for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, notifications. You can be one of my first million subscribers if you're not already. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Jeffrey Verity Schofield's channel. It's the coolest place in the world. <laughs> I get to be in the commercials.